Hi folks, welcome here to FMC Auctions here in Ballymoney. Uh, I'm going to give you a wee quick guided tour around our vintage classic auction which we have taken place this Friday and Saturday here in our auction rooms in Ballymoney. Again, we've got a fantastic entry of vehicles. There's a cracking amount of tractors, uh, cars and motorbikes throughout the two sheds and the yard. So anyway, I'm not going to do a while of talking throughout this video. I'm just going to walk about and give you an idea of what the auction entails. So uh, here goes folks, thank you. Again folks, there's a Kraken Avenger in this time as well. She is a three door, again, three door, a very desirable car. She comes along there, you can see parts up as well there uh, for this car. She does her car work, she is a project. The interior of this car is fantastic. Again, the seats uh, are absolutely 110% intact. Um, there's lots of things there that's done. Again, in the corner here, we have a Kraken Mercedes. Again, that car drives perfect. And as we start in the tractors, there we have a totally original uh, Ferguson TBO. Again, she was in storage for over 25 years. And beside her, uh, one that's been obviously dingied up a fair wee bit, but a cracking tractor. She is, great tires and all on her again. Another wee grey Fergie. And over here, if we step back here, we'll show you Kraken uh, Ford 4000. Again, another very desirable tractor. A lot of interest in that tractor there through the phones. And of course, another 178. Massey Ferguson 178. And for all you John Deere lovers, I love the wee John Deere L. Again, this tractor is driving perfect. She drove into the shed. If you go online there on my Facebook page, you can see a lot of these tractors that have been started and driving, most of them have been started and have been driven into this shed and I've taken videos of them. So if you go to uh, my Facebook page and like it, you'll see all these tractors again. Great Alice Chalmers there, again drove into the shed and again moving on here to this lovely one, uh, 2135. Uh, lovely, lovely tractor again, driving well, but a great paint job and all under as well there. As you can see there, lovely lovely tractor. Fortunately no V5 for it folks. But again, she's all tractor and she's all there. Sitting beside here, her is a lovely uh, Forging Sewer Major. Again, another striking tractor, great paint job. Well done there, nice mud guards and all on her, as you can see there. Beside her is a Case 500. That's Case 500, power steering and all on her this as well. Again, this tractor is uh, finished to perfection as well. And she's on the button, absolutely on the button this tractor. A lovely tractor to have in the auction room to have something different that you've never had before. I never had a KS500 before. Beside her is this lovely wee Metro. Again, lovely wee Metro there. And she again is in pristine condition inside and out. Again, sold for no fault whatsoever there. And beside her is the lovely wee Ford Fiesta X. XR2 and again again folks a lot of interest online on this this uh, car here again very original and has been totally refurbished as well totally refurbished so again so for no fault whatsoever and of course then comes beside her is an Opel Corsa obviously we would probably call it a Nova uh, but anyhow there she is an Opel Corsa she is left hand drive left hand drive there is documentation there with her but again, this car, uh, again, fantastic condition. Look at the shine of that car. 110%. And of course, then beside her is a lovely wee Triumph. Triumph Herald this time again. She comes with the full racing seats and all in her this time and bars. But again, the car drove in here. She's in perfect order, going 110% there as well. Moving on to the tractor, beside her is a Massey Ferguson 65 Mark 1. A Massey Ferguson 65 Mark 1. Again, uh, coming in from a very good home, this tractor here. It starts on the button, 110% correct as well. 
And of course beside her is sitting in pristine condition is a lovely wee Matthew Ferguson 35 four cylinder this time. Again, lovely, lovely uh, condition this tractor here. Lovely wee four cylinder in pride of place in our main room there. Again, comes with the old tax book and the new tax book. Beside her again, folks, is a cracking uh, TVO again. And again, this tractor here, pristine condition. Look at that there, folks. You're looking for quality TVO. Going right up that there. Fantastic tractor. All tires and everything 110% correct in every way. And of course, taking pride of place in the middle of the room is our Toyota Corolla Twin Cam. Again, look at the shine there on that car. Again, a lot of hits there uh, online uh, for this particular car. She is kitted out inside, folks. Maybe you can see in there the bars and all over. She's a two seater and the bars and all on the back over there. Again, striking car, great shine of her. Starts first turn of the key, no ifs and buts about her. She's a good car. And again, moving on to our motorbikes here, you have in the middle of the floor there a Honda 554K. And again, out of a cracking home this time. And look at the shine of that bike. A fantastic bike, she is. Fantastic bike. And obviously beside her is a Pitaco this time. Again, a lovely bike again this time. There we go, the Boltaco this time beside her. And then we have obviously the Scanner on our left hand side, right hand side. Again, Honda this time again. All good mix of bikes here, folks, as you can see. Suzuki as well. Our Scrambler. And again, we have a lot of these wee step throughs there. Well, and a wee Suzuki there, as you saw in the middle of the week there, my wife riding the yarn, round the yard and that wee Suzuki. Another strike and wee bike. Again, a lot of desirable wee bikes in this time here. Um, and there you have it. Moving round to the side, we have a few more scrammers. We have, there we have a Yamaha 400 scrambler again. And switching around here to a lovely Honda. Now there's a striking bike there, always catches your eye. Every time you come into the auction room. There we go, an intruder this time. She is a Suzuki intruder. Had a very, very good bike there as well. Kamazaki. GPZ750. And beside her is a Kraken, a very stunning bike. Definitely a head turner, that one there, a Ducati. A Ducati 600 this time. There we go, Super Sport 600. Another cracking bike. And of course, beside her, moving on to another uh, stunning bike is this Suzuki GS750. Again, look at the shine of that bike there in pristine condition. Over the other side here, we have a few more of these wee step throughs. Gorellis, there's a couple of Gorellis there. A wee Jawa. But again, all in all, great, again, folks, great uh, collection of cars, tractors, and motorbikes in auction room one. I'm pleased to have it, folks, in my, my shed. As you can see it all there, folks. We're starting here viewing at 2 o'clock today, Friday, or th Thursday, at 2 o'clock there. And you have the old black bikes on the wall there as well. There are a lot of uh, nice wee tractor models in the display cases, as well as a few other dis uh, advertising signs and that there around the perimeter of the auction room. In the meantime, folks, we're going to go on to the yard and show you the vehicles in the yard, and then we'll move on up to our top shed. Remember, folks, if you do come to our auction over the weekend, it is, uh, we are advising that you do wear your mask when you do come into the auction rooms. There'll be nobody allowed into the auction room unless you have a mask on. In the meantime, folks, here we are, lovely Toyota Corolla, or sorry, Toyota Hilux this time. Toyota Hilux, again, Look at her age, folks, but a cracking Jeep she is, too. She's all there. And they always say they're bulletproof, them ones there. Again, Fords and Dexter. We have four Fords and Dexters in this auction, so you should be able to get one of them. And moving on there to a David Brown 850. A David Brown 850 again. Service to requirements in here for no fault whatsoever, folks. She is here for sale. And behind that there, moving on to a Toyota Starlet. Toyota Starlet there again, folks, that car, when you turn and turn the key, 
you think she was just coming out of the sales room. Again, beside her is a Peugeot 106. Again, only 14,000 miles on the clock. 14,000 miles on the clock, and she is in pristine condition. Again, beside her is a wee Maestro van. Maestro van, and again, look at the bodywork of that, uh, that van there. She's in top quality uh, condition. In the back there, there's not a mark on her, but a cracking wee van nonetheless. And again, definitely one you want to show off there. Moving on here is a, what do you call it, a Ford Ferguson 9N, I do believe. Again, that tractor is on the button. And uh, she drove in here off the trailer, absolutely no problem whatsoever. In beside her is another Ford and Dexter. Again, all these Dexters are all starting and all working. I think there's one of them doesn't, coming to her in two minutes. But this one here drove off the tractor, or off the trailer, straight into the yard. This is the one here, folks, it needs a starter. It was a project guy. I've just said he started it and then he just didn't get a chance to get around to finishing it. Does need a starter, but it's all there. In beside there, her is a Ford 4600. Again, a lot of Ford lovers here, and again, crack and tighter again. Again, again, surplus requirements. The guy's just selling it because he doesn't need her. And that there is your Ford 1600. And of course, this is the one here getting the most strikes this week is this 6610 Ford 6610. Yep, there she is. In her working clothes, this is a working tractor again, she's totally original. She came from, uh, she's no V5 with her. She either came from the Netherlands or Belgium, this tractor in her past life. But again, she is a striking tractor, totally original. It sounds 110% uh, in every way. She has a, what obviously a European hitch in the back of her there. Again, it's not a big job there to change that. But again, 7,000 hours on the clock of that tractor. Again, that tractor is certainly one that I expect to do well. Uh, over the weekend. Beside her is a Ford Escort. Ford Escort beside me here. Again, a collector's car. That's the one you're looking for there. Nice Ford Escort. Beside the Ford Escort is a striking 165 with the cab this time. Again, super tractor in every way there. Starts on the button, 110% correct in every way. Going to swing around here and come down here. We have a kit car down towards the bottom here. Was a late entry, but again, she does require a wee bit of work, but she is her. I drove her in this morning through the gates. That's the car for you there, folks. Again, striking car, folks, but she does need a bit of work there, but she's in the right money. And beside her is the Audi. Audi, again, always a very desirable car, folks. And then we have a Mark IV Golf V5, as you can see in the front there. Again, another good car, and she... Uh, certainly is on the button and she has the sunroof and all on top there beside her we have another car let's go to the back here i think it's a hellman hunter i do believe yep a hellman hunter i do believe this car is here again left in for sale folks she is a project but she is all there and she is a very desirable car beside that there is the first of the Granadas. again she is a Granada Mark II 2.8i Geo X Gold this time. You can see it there, 1984. Again, they are Project C2 here. And again, beside again, the, beside her is another Granada Mark II 2.8 GL Blue. Again, 1985. Again, uh, the only 100,000 miles in the clock of that one. And uh, again, these are again coming back into fashion again. There are a lot of people looking for them. And in beside here is this Vauxhall. Come in as a late entry as well, folks. Come in as a late entry this morning. Carton this time, there we go. Another big strong car again. This is the cars the all the young boys are all looking for now. And you have her there, she's in my yard. Swinging around here to show you a Leyland 1262. Again, good enough tractor. Again, has been untouched, folks. Does require a wee bit of work, but she's going on the button there. 110% engine ways this time. Uh, but a uh, cracking tractor. And again, look at this here for a stunning Zetter 7011. Again, that's a cracking tractor here. Young guy owned it. Hasn't got the space for it anymore. But she is 110% correct in every way. Great tires, uh, an all round tractor, I can say this time. And then we move on. There we have a Ferguson trailer. A wee trailer this time. We moss trailer there. We vintage moss trailer. Again, another uh, cracking wee trailer. We have three trailers in here. Two weeks trailers at time behind here. There's the first of them there. And across the way, we have another one here. Another week's trailer. There's the badge and all on, uh, stuck on the front of there. A week's three and a half ton uh, range this time. But another cracking tractor or trailer she is. 
And there we have a wee Ferguson uh, sewer. Again, does need work, folks. There is no uh, uh, P2 author, and she does need a wee bit of work. But anyway, if you're going on a run there and you want to do something up, that's probably something originally you want to go for. Swinging it down this side here, but coming from behind here, uh, we have the Ferguson scoop. Ferguson scoop, as you see it there. And the old uh, stack trailer, unfortunately, we've got a bit of an accident in the way coming in here, but again, she was totally boarded. New board's not on her. Just needs the uh, chassis looked at there. And again, the first of the ploughs. We have, uh, unfortunately, only got four or five ploughs this time round, which is quite disappointing for there's always plenty of plough lovers here. Just maybe the wrong time of the year for the ploughs. But again, I get going here, I'll show you the ploughs. We have a three furrow plough there. Again, in fairly good condition, and again a two for a plow. And of course, a massive Ferguson down the front there. And moving up around the back there. We also have, as you can see there, a good sprayer. Again, coming from a very good home, folks. A very good home, an old uh, venti sprayer, and perfect working order as well. I will stress to you. And then behind her, same home, again, a massive Ferguson uh, cutting bar. Again, this cutting bar. Sold for no fault whatsoever. You can see there the boards and all are with her, and the PTO is with her as well. The old hay rick, as you can see behind there, old hay rick, and obviously the old seed driller. And also, I've taken these in here, folks. You can see the old tread, a pair of them old tires there. But some guys maybe want to keep a tractor a wee bit original. They are there now. Moving in behind here, you can see a Ross Baylor again. A lot of it is this Ross Baylor, uh, very, very desirable uh be able at this time to be part of a collection again i've saw this working in my day i have saw this working um again another cracking uh ross baylor now as we move across there there we have the one there that's hitting a lot of hits there on facebook is this a uh, very very good volkswagen camper again uh, coming from a very good home, folks, and it is service to requirements, but it's in mint condition inside and out. Mint condition inside and out. There's a lot of ours, a lot of good fun to be had in that camper van there. Beside her is a Rover. There we go. I think it's a Rover P5. A P5B, I do believe that is there. She is a barn fine. She is a barn fine. And there you have, and beside her, we have the old Morris van. Again, no paperwork with this van here, but again, a lot of hits on Facebook regarding this van. An old Morris van. And we have the old cart there behind. The old cart behind there, and an old Massey Ferguson uh, loader at the front there with the two buckets. Again, I'm going to very quickly go into our main, our second shed, auction room number two, this is. And again, a lot of this stuff, the auction is starting on Friday evening at six o'clock, again, with all the smalls. But anyway, I'm going to run down these tractors here. Again, a uh, cracking array of tractors. We have a lovely Ford 1000, uh, Ford 3000. Ford 3000 there, again, another desirable tractor there, sitting pride of place at the door. A Massey Ferguson 65, again, Mark II this time. Mark II, she is on the button. She never failed to let you down there. And beside her again is a cracking forging major. Again, a forging super major. Again, look at the look at the paint job in that there. Cracking tractor again, all round tractor. And again, here's the one. First time for everything is a Ferguson 35. Ferguson 35 uh, multi par this time. So 35x multi par. And her original working clothes this time. That one there. And again, beside her, we have a 35X. It doesn't say X on the bonnet, but this is a 35X. Again, untouched again, that's the way you like them, is that we 35X there. Now, down beside her is a Ford and Dexter. Again, sold for no fault whatsoever again. She drove into the shed. Beside her is a David Brown 850. David Brown 850, yes, she does need a wee bit of TLC, but she's all there, folks. There we go, and she's one of the early ones as well, I'm told. Given the red tint on her. Again, beside her, we have another for, for, uh, Massey Ferguson 35. It still says 35X on the bonnet, but she's actually a 35. A cracking running tractor she is, too. Again, first turn of key. Lovely straight wee tractor is that uh, 35. Beside her, again, is a Massey Ferguson 165. Again, totally original, untouched. Again, she's all there, folks. That's the way you want it there. 
in her working clothes. And again, likewise, beside her, we have a Massey Ferguson 185. 185. Again, a uh, tractor that you don't often see coming into an auction room. They're very, 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 very hard to come by. But again, she is still in, uh, again, her working clothes as well. And of course, a late entry here is another striking wee TVO. Uh, wee TVO, uh, either 8N or 9N, she is. But again, a lovely straight wee tractor she is. And of course, I am going to jump straight to the thresher. There we go. Again, sitting pride of place in the auction room this time. If you watch my Facebook page, you'll see this here. She was started and showed working on our Facebook page. So if you want to see that there, uh, lovely uh, thresher working, please go to my Facebook page. Uh, there is a Petter Junior engine and all there driving the whole thresher and you'll see it working there um again so anyway behind that there we have a few other motorbikes in there we have a bmw again this bmw is sold for parts for repair cracking big bike there there's a few boxes there beside it belongs to it the bike beside it is a honda again she drove in here going 110 percent an ex police bike i am told again this one here uh again you can see her there she is a yamaha i do believe a yamaha again this one here a very rare bike i'm told she does require a bit of work but them guys do up these are the ones they're looking for. And beside here, her we have a Galera. There we go, a Galera beside her there. And then we have a few of these wee Honda steps. I don't know if that one there's a Honda, but anyhow, we have them here, up the floor here. Nice wee bikes they are too. There's a Honda there. Again, these are a very, very desirable bike. Moving on to the uh, wee Quickly. We have a wee Quickly there as well. Beside this, there's a nice wee bike there. Wee quickly, and it's quickly, and another vintage bike. Anyway, there you have it, folks. I'm going to give you a look at all my smalls. Again, you can see the creamy cans and all. Great collection of stuff there, in there for the creamy cans, and all the old memorabilia that comes along with it. Little cracking uh, gastrol oil pump as well. Dunlop uh, pump. And again, there we have a turnip sore this time from Korean. She the name on it is Kennedy and Co. Korean. Look what it is this time. And then we have a vast array of oil bottles. Again, a lot of oil bottles there. Some of them have caps and all on them, some of them don't. But again, very desirable bottles they are too. A few old tractor seats there turned into stools. There's a rare machine there. Again, you can see there. Belfield Foundry, again, Belfast, and that's from days gone by when the cart was going around the corner to knock the cart out on the road again. That's a very, very rare, rare collectible piece there. And again, there's a lot of tractor parts in them on this as well. Yeah. If you've got an eagle eye, you'll, 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 you'll see them there. Again, we've got lots of lights there as well. Tractor parts, wee pot belly stove. There we go, shoots for a potato, bell planter, and the old sack trolleys. And again, going to go down here, we have tractors, seats, Michelin men, Dexter headlights. There we go. First is uh, swing, swing and draw bars, one there and one there as well. And the old fiddles as well, not to mention the old fiddles from days gone by. It's always a good seller. Old S and Tilly lamps as well, and lights. So, any folks, it's getting five to two here. They're queuing up at the gate. I'm going to finish off here very, very quickly and show you again. There's a very uh, rare um, cow tail pump, and it does say Christie's of Korean on the top. I've never saw them on the top before, always around the front. Again, it's on the cap. Again, a lot of good oil bottles again. Valerie Shane milk bottles. Oil bottles, sprouting boxes, there's even an old Harlem. There's a very rare piece there, folks, the old Harlem. And there's a Monster Sims pedal jar as well. Monster Sims, you see the MS in the front of it there, collectible item as well. And moving down here to our old trolleys. Again, there's a very rare, nearly missed this one here. Look at this, folks, for a cracking piece. Did you ever see one like it? A vice on wheels. There is an absolute top of piece. Glad to see that coming up in the auction room. Top of piece and a 56 pound weights behind her. 
So there you have it, folks. That's it. Basically, FMC Auctions Bally Money over the two days, starting tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. I know the weather's not really great, but anyhow, we are online. If you can't make the auction, go to easyliveauctions.com and uh, again, register there and you can bid from the comfort of your own home. Um, again, thank you very much for listening, folks. I really appreciate it. And as I say, it should be a good auction. I am satisfied with the quality of stuff that I have in the shed. So uh, if quality is in the go by, it should be a good one. So in the meantime, folks, thank you very much here. I'm going to open my gates and let the public get in and see the quality of stuff that we have on offer over the next two days. Thank you very much, folks. And as I say, <laughs> there they are coming in. You can see the cars coming in already into the yard. So again, thanks, folks, and talk to you soon.